The world's nations depict the goddess with many different names, faces, and characteristics. But these are really all part of the same potent lady. The goddess is changeless and eternal. Her magic works outside of time and outside human convention. You can access a particular goddess's attribute within yourself to positively transform your reality one day at a time. And this is why miracles are miracles. Greetings and welcome to, welcome back to Inspired Messages. Today, October 9th, we honor the Divine Feminine Goddess Holda. Goddess Holda is known as the White Lady, an appellation that alludes to the color of her hair. This goddess is the wise, ancient crone who has learned the lessons of destiny and karma from a long, well-lived life and who bears the knowledge of magic's deeper mysteries to us with patience and time. Goddess Holda turns out to be a very interesting and complex, all-encompassing goddess. She is seen as the maiden in summer, sitting by a lake, combing her beautiful white hair. As a mother who made the fields, animals, and women fertile, and protected women and children, as well as accompanied those infants who had died before they'd been named to the other world. As a, as a wizened crone in the winter, who was stern and despised laziness. She had many connections to different goddesses, both within the Germanic and Norse pantheons. In post-Christian times, she was seen as the independent mother goddess, of the mother of the goddesses, and then she was transformed from Mother Holda, or Gracious One, who helped and protected women and children into the goddess of the witches, an old ugly hag who rode a broom across the night sky, as well as with many of her symbols taking on new evil attributes. This demonization is clear in the movie Sleeping Beauty, where the spinning wheel and spindle are turned into, a, into symbols of evil and many of her other attributes were turned around as well. Her protection of the dead soul of infants was turned around to her creeping in and stealing children from their cradles. Her image as wise old woman instilling moral values turned into the foolish old mother goose who spread wives' tales. Holda's themes are longevity, wisdom, kinship, magic, destiny, and karma. Her symbols are white items and aged items. The first Sunday in October is set aside to honor grandparents and their vital roles in families. Customarily, grandparents or adopted ones are invited for dinner and showered with attention. This lovely, traditions, this lovely tradition honors Holder's wisdom through the elders in our community. So today, if you wish, go to a nearby nursing home and spend some time cheering up someone. Listen to people's stories in their days, as their days, as they share their experience in their days go by and let their insights inspire you. You can also choose to harness Holda's um, energy today by wearing white. Uh, using a white scarf on your head would be good 
or carrying a white stone with you to represent her coral or um, her, her stone of wisdom, which she had. Alternatively, you can eat some aged cheese or drink aged wine to remind yourself that old doesn't mean outmolded. People can become better with time and withhold us guidance. If we remember to appreciate the years and the people who have gone before us on this path. Honoring the Divine Feminine, Holda. I am Goddess Nini. Thank you for listening. And until next time, one love.